Hello, so we are back at this time. We have a proper nice laptop to repair. Acer Nitro, like usual. i5 and NVIDIA graphics. The problem with this one, dead. Now, let's see the customer email. So the customer is saying the laptop doesn't power on. We have tested the power gets passed to the DC jack, but no sign of life. Looking at options to either repair or replace the motherboard. So we know the laptop is dead, but the charging port is good. I will say, let's open the laptop and let's check the main power rail before we are plugging the power, yeah? And the laptop, it's open. Yeah, the battery is unplugged. Yeah, that's a classic Nitro motherboard. Now, what we are checking first, huh? You see here you have two power supplies and here capacitors and inductors. Yeah, there we are. We can check the main power rail if it's shorted. Ground, main power rail. Check on the screen. Like 3 ohms. And actually 3 ohms is quite bad. <laughs> okay, let's take the... Yeah, 3 ohms is bad. That... VRAM or CPU, but most likely the CPU. But let's take out the, the heatsink and check. And the heatsink, it's out. Okay, let's check something, yeah? Because we can actually check something. So if the main power rail has 3.2 ohms, from here to the coils, 35 ohms. Huh? You know what? Probably it's not the it's not the CPU. Let's see the VRAM. It's not the VRAM. Huh? The chipset? Let's check the coils to ground. So this coil is good. This coil is good. This coil is good. This coil is good. Hmm? Okay, this is interesting. Let me grab the power supply. Power supply, lowering the voltage. Yeah, like 0 0.8. We need a ground. And let me grab the thermal camera. Thermal camera is here. You know, I'm curious what can be. Because I don't have from the main power rail to the CPU or uh, VRAM like a, like a track. That's mean most likely this resistance comes from uh, a direct circuit to ground. So coming with current exactly on the same point, like on the these inductors, and it's doing nothing because we have no ground. Yeah, it's taking four hundred milliamps, and what is getting hot? Please don't be the CPU. It's not the CPU. What is that? Wait, what is that? So I'm coming with power there. Wait, so here are the GPU power supplies. This thingy, this one. I don't think we are able to fix this motherboard. No, I think I think we have to replace the board. <laughs> Someone said easy pizza, huh? Proper sunny outside. Let's check under the microscope. Say hello to my little friend or hot air. Hot air, right? Yeah. Let's be gentle this time. So the second capacitor, which is this one, or the first one, which one it was? The second or the first one?
the capacitor it's out but I'm not sure if it was this capacitor or the other one let's see multimeter this capacitor is actually good check here the capacitor is fine here is the other capacitor we took out the wrong capacitor It's like you're going to the dentist and they are taking out the right, wrong tooth. Yeah, so it's this one. So this capacitor, I mean you can see the capacitor is cooked. And the capacitor has like 2.4 ohms. You see, this is, uh, this is what uh, got me in believing actually it's a MOSFET, a high resistance shorted capacitor. Can't believe. I mean, what a fault. Hmm? Did you expect that? <laughs> Shorted capacitor with like 3.5 ohms? Yeah, me neither. I mean, this is a lucky customer. So plug in the battery. We need the blue pin Acer. 19 volts. Let's raise the current to, yeah, 4.6 amps. Plug in the charger. The charger is plugged in, it's taking 10 milliamps, 260. And should change over 1 amp charging current. Yeah, 1.6 amps. So the laptop is charging fine. Pressing the power button and the laptop it is coming on, it's taking like 3.4 amps. It's getting warm. And shut down and start again, that means someone reset the BIOS. Well, actually it's no BIOS battery here. 4.4 amps. We have picture, yeah, no, uh, no SSD. Can't believe actually it's working. Ha. Replacing the capacitor, maybe on the next video, maybe on the next video, but we are working based on uh, no capacitor, no short capacitor, so we are okay. Yeah, kind of a short video. Yeah, sometimes we have this kind of easy uh, easy jobs, yeah, so yeah, that's fine, that's nothing wrong. I'm happy I help the customer and the customer doesn't have to buy another motherboard. So I think I'm going to stop here. I will say uh, thank you for watching, you know, like, subscribe if you like the video, yeah. Hopefully you learn how to remove the capacitors and see you on the next one. Bye. Hey. If you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our members only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay where you can find some cool and unique products. United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.